Okay, greeting folks. Today I would like to show you how to download your portfolio into an external hard disk or a CD-ROM. First thing is I need you to go to this website called HTTTrack. Uh, the website is called HTTTrack.com. Uh, the sub page is called page backslash 2. So that will take you to this. Now you can choose which uh, software you want to download because according to your operating system, whether it's Linux, Windows, XP, Windows 2000, Windows Vista, whatever your system is, you can download accordingly. So most of you all, I assume you are using Windows 7. Uh, Windows 7, uh, I will, and I would like to use one of those, uh, something like this one, the one that I've highlighted, 64-bit. <coughs> it's quite reliable. Okay, so once you have installed it, the software will look something like this. Okay, do not forget the first thing you have to do before you execute your downloading process is to release your password. Because some of you have uh, encrypted your website with a password protection, so this will not be able to will not able to extract any uh, website that is password protected. Okay, so then I need you to go and find out your. So in my case, I'll be using uh, my show you my own example. Google site. So I will be going to my own Google site. I will use my own specimen I have just created for this purpose. Okay, give me a few seconds and I call it uh, log teaching. Okay, now what I need to do is uh, I'm going to download this, this, this portfolio, right? So what I will do is I'll come here, I will go next because I'm ready to do. I have to give it a project name. So my project name is called Logan Portfolio. And my project category could be portfolio. And where do I want to save it? So in this case, I would like to save it in my desktop because it's easier to find. So I'm going to save it in my desktop. So those of you all are trying to download into your external hard disk, or especially those who are trying to burn it in CD-ROM, I strongly recommend that you download it first onto a desktop or something before you burn it. Just going straight to the CD-ROM may not be a good idea. So once you get this part, you press next. Now, they're asking you, the action is need is to download website, that's fine. Which website do you want to strip? So I will go here, I will double click on this, or highlight my, my address. I go control, copy, control C. I will come here and control paste, which is control V, and it's ready to go, okay? And I press next. Now it's gonna ask me a few things. Please adjust uh, connection parameters if necessary and all that stuff, right? So do not, uh, now, those of y'all are doing it, some of y'all, particularly those students have a lot of stuff. You know it's gonna take a long time to download. It could take up to about one hour, two hours to download because yeah, it will download every bits and pieces. So I recommend you could you could click something like this, shut down PC when finished. So you can do it just before you sleep and wake up in the morning to be there on your desktop, okay? so. You can click shut down and finish. Sorry, let me go back. Click shut down and finish and you start, you press finish. So if you see, notice, you can see my whole thing uh, downloading. So this will take, uh, as I said, depending on how complex your portfolio is, it could take as simple as 20 minutes and as long as half a day, right? So th that is uh, that part of the uh, portfolio. Now, I can cancel, I'm going to temporarily cancel this because I know uh, I downloaded it mine uh, earlier. And let me show you how it looks like. So when I go to my uh, website, if you notice, I have, uh, this is my Logan portfolio. I, I've downloaded earlier. So, and I have the index file next to that. So if I click my index file, now, uh, so basically when you, you burn, you have to burn these two together, right? You have to, you have to, let me get it for that part. Now, so this is the important part. So I go index for my file. If you notice, my, my Logan portfolio is there. Here we go. And then all my doc, sub documents will be there. Okay. So, this is basically in a nutshell on how to 
uh, download a web strip. So basically what you have to do is subsequently uh, copy these two folders into your CD-ROM. Don't forget this is just the index and this is where all the data is kept. So you need both of these for it to work. Okay. So do not forget folks, the name of the software is called HTTrack. Uh, another thing you shouldn't forget is you should make sure you are not password protected before you start copying the website. And please do not do use this technique, do illegal things. This is for an academic purpose only. Shalom.